So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at some very skinny pens. By that, I mean fine tip pens. And to me, that means pens that are under 0.4 millimeters. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0.7, it's kind of an average pen to me for general day-to-day -day use. And once you're getting in, into that 0.25 millimeter, 0.3 millimeter, and then up to even uh, 0.38, I would consider that to be a, a very fine tip. 0.38 might be pushing it, but I'm gonna include it just because I generally tend to write with 1.0 millimeter and larger pens. Uh, and I just wanted to compare some of my favorites. Uh, really quickly, we have the High Tech C. I think that's very standard. That also comes in a 0.38 millimeter. We have this uh, Pentel Hybrid Technica. The, uh, I believe it's a Pentel as well. The Sleecy, Sleechy, I'm not really sure how to say that. Uniball Signal, Signo DX in a 0.38 millimeter. The Signo RT, very similar pen. And then we have the uh, Signo, I'm not sure, uh, RT1. So these things are essentially the same pen, but different variants. Uh, and I don't, actually don't have a huge collection of these very skinny pens, but uh, of the ones I have and the ones I've tested, these are the ones I've stuck it out with. So I did a little bit of writing with them already, and I wanted to do some quick samples. So for reference, I have a 0.7 millimeter pilot there, and that's a uh, very standard G2 or G knock, whatever it is. And uh, you can see the high tech C, the Uniball Signo RT, the Pentel Technica, and the Pentel Sleecy, Sleechy, whatever. Someone correct me in the comments about how you say that. Uh, and now we could do some writing with them. Uh, and let's just kind of run through them. We have the Signo RT. This is a very standard pen that's actually acceptable for day-to-day -day use. So this one writes very well. Uh, so it doesn't, it has a very fine tip, but it, it, it writes very smoothly. This one is definitely acceptable for non-specialized use. Once you move over to something like this, which is the high tech C and 0.25 millimeter, now you're looking at something that is scratchy. It's not gonna work well with all papers because it'll just kind of dig in. And you have to be more conscious about how you're writing with it. Generally that means holding the tip straighter up and down just because the diameter of that ball is so, so tiny. So we have the high tech C 0.25 millimeter. And you could probably hear it scratching there. And you can just see the difference. A Signal RT is uh, pretty generous for 0.3 millimeter, where the high tech C is definitely much skinnier. A better comparison for the high tech C and the 0.25 would be something like this Pentel. And this is this is rated at a I believe a 0.25 millimeter as well. Yeah, 0.25 millimeter. So this is the Pentel S-L-I-C-C-I 0.25. And this is much, much smoother than the high tech C. And I actually really, uh, really uh, prefer it to the high tech C. I think generally speaking, Pentel has a big advantage with these pens. They seem to be uh, doing a great job with their skinny pens. Uh, they're fine tip pens. And here's the 0.3 millimeter in the Technica. So this is a Tech Neca. And this is definitely the smoothest of the bunch. Uh, so it uh, has a little bit of a broader, broader stroke than that uh, one we just used. And you can see those two compared there. Definitely a deeper color and a broader stroke. Uh, so the, the fact that it's 0.3 millimeter versus a 0.25, so only five hundredths of a difference, uh, it feels a lot different when you're writing with it. So again, these, these measurements are not really perfect. And what one company calls a 0.3 uh, could be you know, a 0.38, 0.25, 0.25, 0.35. 
to someone or 0.25 to someone else. So you really have to test out some of them and figure out what you'd like. Uh, going from these, my favorite one is definitely the Technica. I think it's just a solid pen. It writes really well. And it's uh, remarkably smooth. It's not quite as smooth as Signal RT, but if you look at the like the actual stroke or the actual writing of this pen, this thing, I mean, it looks more like a 0.5 millimeter to me, like a skinny 0.5. So uh, it's like barely makes sense to include it in here. That's why I think the Technica is a really nice mix of smoothness. Uh, whereas the uh, this 0.25, the Sleechy, Sleecy, whatever, Slicey, I'm up for anything there. Uh, it writes really well for a 0.25, much better to me than the high tech. Although if you look, if you want more scratchy and more feedback, I know a lot of people do like those high techs. And the other one uh, I wanted to point out was the uh, the Signo DX. I like this one, which it's the capped version. The RT is obviously retractable, just like with the RT one. The RT one just moves to this like more modern design. And uh, this one comes in this very cool purple black ink, which uh, is not that easy to find. I'll just do a quick test with that. This one doesn't use a needle tip, it uses a conical tip, but it's still 0.38 millimeter. And it'll put this one up here. And again, this is the, whatever I said, Signo DX. And now with, with that 0.38, it, it's kind of more like you're using just a fine tip pen. It's not a hyper fine. So you definitely have a big distinction between 0.38 and 0.25 and even that 0.3, as you can see here in the writing sample. Uh, so yeah, in summary, if you're looking for something really skinny that writes really well, uh, I would look to Pentel and try to pick up a hybrid Technica or this guy here. Uh, both write really well. You know, the other guys, even the high techs are great. Everyone loves them. But uh, for my money, Pentel is the big winner here. So thanks for watching.